It's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here today at the Bop Stop, and we're talking with Jamie Haddad. Jamie, it sounds like you just got off the road. You've been touring a little bit. Yeah, we were out with Paul Simon. We Paul's a new record, Stranger to Stranger, and we hit the road at the start of May. It finished halfway through July and across America, and then we're going to go out for you know, a few weeks in the fall out in, in Europe. And it's unbelievable receptance to new music, which is yeah. pretty tough for a guy who's got a lot of hits. Yeah. I heard this this album's maybe considered his best since Graceland, so a lot of good stuff on there. Well, I like to think so. I'm all over it, so it's fun for me. <laughs> so your whole thing is is really world percussion and uh, jazz, and you have a history of playing here at this bop stop uh, for as long as it's been open anyways, and this piano right behind you here is something that, that you're responsible for as well. How, how'd that come about? You just kind of said, hey, they need a piano out here ba big time. Maybe we can help them from Overland. Well, there's a lot of um, a lot of history here. One of it is Gay Pollock, the guy who's been running and put this bop stop on the map for this uh, generation. Uh, he was a, a student of Dean Andrea Kalins and Dean uh, Mary Kay Gray in their uh, entrepreneur uh, uh, program that they had. And it was uh, Gabe basically back in the day said, this is my plan. This is what I want to do in a club. And he came through on it. So you need a world-class piano for world-class players. So I mentioned to uh, John Cavanaugh, who's the head technician at Oberlin, responsible for all the pianos. And I told him the situation. And, and he said, well, let me see what I can do. And they had the piano, and so they loaned it. It's a seven-foot Hamburg Steinway behind us. Amazing. It's nice having Gabe, who comes out of Oberlin as a grad there, running a jazz club. This has got to change things for Cleveland, right, having a major jazz club like this all of a sudden. It's really it's incredible. I mean, for look, I'm playing three nights in a row here in Cleveland. Nobody plays three nights in a row, hardly ever, yeah. ever, yeah. in any jazz club in America, right. let alone in Cleveland. Right, right. So the fact that we can do that and we did great business is just really encouraging. And um, after that, we're going to go in the studios in Oberlin, mm -hmm. Klonic, uh, Klonic Studios, and record for three days. And um, then the band's got eight members in it from five different countries, right. five different generations, the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60-year-olds. Yeah. I'm a 30-year-old. <laughs> You're on the younger side of the thing. Yeah, talk about this uh, Under One Sun that you got going. You, this has been a project you've been at for, for a little while. Yeah, when we first, uh, I first put the band together, I always had some kind of thing, always fooling around, but I got serious when uh, Terry Petromoli and the people from Tri-C Jazz Vessel um, asked me if I wanted to come. And, and so we did a concert at the Hannah, and I put the, put the group together. But all my years of teaching, I always kept my or just performing i always kept my eyes open for people that i resonated with in a really you know special way regardless of how old they were where they came from just people who got me and i got them musically and so i put the call out to all these people and they were all excited and uh a lot of people in the band write well michael ward bergman's an accordion player uh he's out in the road with the yo yo ma silk road and uh um, lucito quintero from venezuela he's on the road with chick Corea now and uh, he's an awesome uh, uh, percussionist. He's not your typical conga player by any stretch of the imagination. He's such more, uh, such a better orchestrator than almost anyone I can think about who plays congas as well as he does. And uh, he, can, he, you know, he's also knows the Venezuelan style of playing maracas. That if you've never seen that, it's one of the freakier things that anyone can do on the planet. And then uh, we have a canoe player, a Palestinian. Uh, Ali Amr, who sings like an angel and plays his tail off. And if you don't know the canoon, the canoon's like uh, the, the Arabic dulcimer. It's like playing the inside of a piano with thimbles. And then um, uh, Roberto Ocapinti is not a stranger to Cleveland, but he's uh, really my uh, dear brother of mine. He lives in Toronto, and he'll be down, and he plays acoustic bass. Uh, Leo Blanco, also from Venezuela, who I've you know, I've learned to love his music, playing on a few of his records, and uh, we've I've been to Venezuela with him and went to school on his music, so that was a wonderful learning experience. Salar Nadar plays tabla. He was uh, Zakir Hussein's protege since he was a little kid. He's pound for pound. He's one of the baddest dudes on the planet, man. He just plays nonstop, and, you know, he's... He's so fast, you know. He's like correcting all of us all the time. He's just amazing. Uh, and Billy Billy Drews, 
Uh, my dear friend and the longtime associate uh, saxophone player, we consider him the Wayne Shorter of our generation. He writes unbelievably beautiful, and we'll be focusing on his music for this, and uh, this will be um, a, a real treat to have three nights to get this together and, yeah. uh, and you know, get the vibe, you know, get right. the vibe with the people. The people were really generous to us last time, so I'm excited. Well, I just want to say thank you to you. It's such a gift having you in our community, having you teach folks right here in Overland, which is just a few minutes from Cleveland, and, and your gift here with this piano and everything that you're bringing to Cleveland. I just want to thank you, Jamie, for, for being here and doing what you do. Well, it's my pleasure, but, you know, it's really it's, uh, it's Overland that gave the piano. I just tried to do what seemed obvious. Right. Well, we can't wait to hear you do your thing here with your friends. Thanks for taking a few moments and talking. You got it, brother. Thank you, Tom. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.